What's up, Wolfpackers? Thanks for clicking on the link. Today we are going to be reviewing the Marvel Legends SP DR Wave. If you like this video, give us a like, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for us. As well as check us out on Instagram at the Wolfpack Toy Review. All right, without any further ado, let's get started. So you might be saying to yourself, Wolfie, what's going on here? We're a few figures short. Well, we are. I opted out of getting cloak and dagger. Now, as a toy collector, you're, no, there's no rule book that says you have to get every wave, every figure in the wave. If you like a figure, get it. If you don't like the figure, feel free to opt out. But what I did do was order the Build-A-Figure pieces aftermarket off of eBay. As well as Daredevil. He was also picked up off of eBay. So here's what comes with the wave, guys. We've got Doc Ock, no Build-A-Figure. Kane, aka Scarlet Spider, comes with the left arm. Elektra comes with the left leg. Cloak comes with the head. Dagger comes with the torso. Daredevil comes with the right arm. And House of M Spider-Man comes with the right leg. So like I said, we opted out of getting Cloak, but here's his Build-A-Figure piece. It's the head for SPDR. A lot of scope, and it's kind of a small peg, so that might fit on other figures. Maybe you can pop it on his head. I don't know. It's got kind of a vulture beak, so if you guys have got the vulture, try that out. Alternate head. Do a customization. I don't know. And Dagger comes with the torso for SPDR. He's got a ball rocker. There's no hit, no waist swivel, no ab crunch. Looks like he's going to have 360 rotation at the shoulders, up and down, as well as the ball joint. And then thigh rotation, and the thighs will slot in right here. So that's what we got with this guy. Good scope, good detail, really good paint wash, nothing we don't like so far. Daredevil comes with the right arm of SPDR. So that's going to slot in. He's going to have full 360. Doesn't look like there's going to be up and down. He's going to have bicep swivel. Single jointed elbows. He's got the, a hinge at the hand and then 360. I really like this scope on the hand. That's really cool. I hope we see more of, more of these or configurations like these. SPDR right arm and then we've got the man without fear himself double D daredevil he's got the bucky cap mold that we're all accustomed to that's been done to death in my mind but this one's got a really cool wash it's black he's got this freestanding belt the belt wiggle so he can have his waist swivel without any hindering he's got his ab crunch 360 on the head same shoulder same bicep swivel that we're accustomed to same swivels on the hands. Uh, mine, the paint wash on these bands, they're really cool, but you can see a little bit of the black fading through. I might have to do my own personal touch up on that. We got boot swivel, that's always good. Up and down, and then we've got the rocker. Thigh rotation on both. And then a really cool feature is his holster for his gaffy sticks. They're free, free moving. You can rotate. They pop out. You hook up the. It comes with a uh, a rope, but it's it's big and bulky. It doesn't it doesn't fit well with him. So now he's got his batons, and he can do a little whooping. Now, guys, if you've got the Multiple Man from the Apocalypse Wave, I'll show you a quick hack. Multiple Man is a universal head sculpt that can be used for just about anybody. He can use a Cyclops in a pinch. I like to use him as Peter Parker. Um, he can also be used as Matt Murdock. But some variations of Matt Murdock are blonde. So there's a bit of a problem there. And oh yeah, he's blind. So I've got the head sculpt for Matt Murdock from the yellow Daredevil suit. This guy looks more like Jeremy Renner, Hawkeye, but that's the one that goes with them. Here we've got the Peter Parker from the 
Black Symbiote Craven the Hunter 2 pack, and it goes pretty seamless. I mean, even if you want to do a, if you want to play around with him like he's Daredevil beat up, he's got kind of a glazed over look like he's blind anyway, so, I mean, that, that could fit. What do you guys say we get Kane opened up? <clears throat> Here he is unboxed, ladies and gents. Now, many people have taken on the mantle of the Scarlet Spider. Most notably, Ben Riley has been the Scarlet Spider, but Peter Parker was actually the Scarlet Spider for a time, as well as a fellow named Joe Wade. And even in an alternate universe, the daughter of Felicia Hardy and Flash Thompson, Felicity Hardy, became the Scarlet Spider for a time, although she had no powers. But this guy is Kane Parker. Surprise, surprise, a clone of the original Spider-Man. He was cloned by the Jackal and has all of the abilities that a normal Spider-Man would have. Super strength, super speed, climbing ability, as well as an enhanced sense of awareness, almost like a spidey sense. And then he's, if you see his stingers, he's got this thing called the Mark of Cain, which he inflicts on his victims. Now dig that head scope for a second. That is good. Got the got the glazed over eyes like he's almost a zombie. If uh if you could you could even swap him out for an Iron Man. Give him a uh, a possessed Tony Stark. He comes with the uh the butterfly that all Spider Men Spider Men should have. That's awesome. Look at that. Uh he's got the ab crunch, swivel. As well as the butterfly, he's got up and down at the joints, at the shoulders, bicep rotation, double jointed elbows, and then he's got hinges at the hands. My only gripe is that the paint wash is a little, a little blah. The stinger's warped a little bit, but that's okay. I like his, uh, he come, comes with claws. Thigh rotation. Calf rotation, up and down, and you know, good flexibility can kick that for Hey, ballet. His his paint wash is pretty basic. You can't really mess any of it up. You know, just as long as the spider is good, we're all right. Good there, and then just solid red everywhere. Now I liked him with the uh, Peter Parker. Now I liked him with the cane head sculpt. But this is a really good scope as well. It almost looks like Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe. Can't wait to put this guy on the uh, Symbiote Spider-Man. Give him that uh, insta-kill look. It's a good scope. And then he comes with two fisted hands. And they all have the wash that the others have. And then we've got the right arm of SPDR. Same thing. Single jointed elbow. Swivel at the bicep. 360 rotation. I'm pretty sure there's not going to be any any of that. And the hand sculpt is really good. I like that hand. Really digging that. What do you guys say we open up? Electra. Alright, we're back. Out of the box. The lady is ready. Here we have her in her super cool... Oh, sorry, guys. Here we have her in her super cool pose. Where she's diving in. The Ninja Assassin. Here we have the Lady in Red. Wielding two sighs. Um, I know a certain pizza loving turtle that would probably disagree with everything going on in this picture. But it is what it is. Now to me, Marvel Legends needs to step it up. We get the same mold for women every time. Every time it's a variation of the same woman. Um, what they've been doing lately is they add they add this. Don't get me wrong. This this is cool. I don't I don't mind this. Right? But it's it's the same thing every time. Here we've got the Walgreens exclusive Mystique. And it's the exact same mold, exact same dress. It's, you know, I I like this one too, but Marvel Legends, you guys got to step it up. DC icons, even the Overwatch. 
They've got different molds for all their females. You guys keep putting out the same exact one every time. The mold for Blink is exactly the same and it comes with the frilly dress. Uh, Marvel Legends, everybody is beautiful. You know, let's get let's get a couple let's get a couple thicker ladies on here. You know, give me a little little junk in the trunk, you know what I mean? So like I said, typical uh Marvel Legends 360 on the on the shoulders. Now her hair is kind of in the way for this one. I like how this the hair wraps around. That's cool. Uh 360, no bicep swivel. I don't I don't like these, you know. What what Marvel Legends, what would it cost you to mold this on? Or even give me like a free floating piece like with Rogue or even Daredevil back here. Something like that. I don't I don't like these. They uh look at that. I'm not I'm not down with this. Just a paint over it? How, how much would it really cost to get this right? Same thing with the boots. There's you know, that's obvious. Two different tones. I'm pretty sure it's just with my figure, but I got a little black splotch. Dirt stain, whatever. Uh, single jointed elbows, no bicep. What I do like is this hand mold. It's got the correct way to hold a sigh. So around the hands, these are supposed to be wraps, but it just it looks like bad paint is what it, is what it looks like. Another thing I noticed, I'm gonna have to take an exacto knife to the tip of this because the mold is kind of it's like over pour. Just picking that one up. Positives that I like on this one, the head scope. It's a good, you know, it's it's new. It's just for it's a scope that's just for her. Sorry about that, guys. You know, those are free flowing, jet black hair. Uh, it messes up her up and down, but I'm not totally mad about that. I like how the hair drapes over. If you wanted to, you can take this off, kids. Turn your eyes for just a quick second. And she's almost got a uh, a Baywatch bathing suit. If you guys are, you know what? Now, now I probably should have got a uh, dagger. I could have swapped the head. She could have been Pamela Anderson. Okay, so we've got the left leg of SPDR. There's a little bit of splotching on that paint scheme. He's gonna go plugged in just like that on the thigh. There's no thigh articulation. He's got double jointed knees. It's almost like a wrap. That's weird, he's a robot, but he's wrapped up. He's got these cool little kneecap things. All right, um, this is gonna be kind of weird when you stand him up, I can already tell. And then the ankles, that's gonna be weird. There is slight up and down on it. So we'll see how, we'll see how it goes. It's gonna stand. I mean, you, you guys have read the reviews on it. It's gonna be hard to get him st stood up. So we'll see. All right, up next, House of M, Spider-Man. All right, with House of M, Spider-Man, we've got, to me, in my mind, it's a very generic version of Pizza Spider-Man. Pizza Spider-Man is the benchmark. Uh, every other Spider-Man variation is based off of him. Now, the comic book version, if you're not familiar with House of M was based around this young lady. She, uh, turn on notifications and you can check out when we do the review on her. If you're not familiar with her, that's Wanda Maximoff. She's uh, one of the most powerful mutants in the history of the MCU. Uh, no more mutants. If you're familiar with the comic line, if not, then you know, get up on it, man. That's like an eight-year-old version of the comics. So, like I said, it's a very generic version of the 616 Spider-Man. It's a whole different universe. But, I mean, you, you check out the scope and they just adjusted it slightly. Um, his his spider webs go up just a little more than his. Uh, there's a little bit of cut around the abs that he doesn't have. On the back, there's no spider web. On the front, you'll see that there's no iconic spider. Um, he's got the spider web cut into the suit. He's got a spider web, but it's, you know, slightly different. So, you know, 616 and then this uh, 
House of M Spider-Man a little bit different. The biggest knock for me on this Spider-Man is right here. This shoulder blade, the trapezoid, it cuts into the paint scheme and you know, why have a butterfly joint if it's so close and it's going to scratch up the paint? That's just horrible. It's, you know, you can't do anything with the figure after that. It's happening a little bit here. And then his index finger is ridiculously warped. It's like when you're doing push-ups, right? It's just, it gets bent back. I'm going to try to bend that with the uh, hair blower. A hot, you know, set it on high. See if I can't fix that. Other than that, I'm not. There's nothing too bad I, that I don't mind about it. It's, I mean, it's a, it's a basic Spider-Man uh, mold. Got the butterfly joints. Everything's good on it. It's just that. It's, that's that's really bad. Hasbro, do better, please. I mean, twenty bucks a figure, and we're getting that from you. Typical articulation you expect from the Spider-Mans. You know, you got the swivel at the hip, ab rocker, the butterfly joints, which are always a plus because you can bend them in all kinds of crazy positions. Take a little, a little bit of blue paint if you're a DIY guy. Cover these up. So shoulder articulation 360, bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows. They need to do something about these. They won't, but they need to do something about them. Rocker at the at the wrist. Swivel 360, and then 360 there. And these Spider Man, so he can above and beyond. No, uh, no boot cuff. No rotation at the calf. Got the up and down. And then the 360 there. Also, no extra head sculpts for the for this figure. So just the plain Spider-Man, this guy here, is all you get. Here's the multiple man, like we told you before. He's kind of universal, so that can pass for a Peter Parker. And here he is with the Pizza Spider-Man head sculpt. That's the one thing about having Pizza Spider-Man, he's universal. As long as he's got the red with the black stripes, it'll work. Bam. Last and certainly not least, we've got Dr. Otto Octavius. Doc Ock for short. And we've got Doc Ock. And let's, uh, let's just point out the obvious. He's a rather portly fellow. I mean, he's portly, but he's also muscular, which is kind of weird. So, you know, can, can you be both? I mean, there's a couple offensive linemen in the NFL that will tell you, yes, yes, you can. Since we're doing comparisons, I've got a McDonald's Happy Meal toy from the mid-90s. I think uh, 94, let's say. And we've got our 2018 Doc Ock. You know, they pretty similar. He's got the, this one's got the abs and the tendrils, or not the tendrils, but the hands. All right, let's get on with the review for this guy. Well, this has got to be a brand new mold just for him. I mean, I've never seen anything like this on any Marvel Legends figure. Now, the males get all the love. They get their own specific molds, and we get nine different Electras. So, you know, Marvel Legends, step it up, please. I mean, I'm, I'm buying these at 20-something a pop. Help me out. Come on. With this mold, you get the standard 360s. On the shoulders, you get up and down. You get a bicep swivel. You get the swivel with the hands back and forth. You get one closed fist and one gripping fist. He's got, as you can see, he's got the the barrel chest. Yeah, sure, barrel chest. And he can ab roll a little bit or rocker a little bit. No ab roll. He's got kicks up that much kicks back he's got too much junk in the trunk to kick back any further than that thigh rotation boot cuff rotation up and down it's a little tight 
a little tight there. You got the double jointed knees, both sides. There's a slight discoloration from thigh to, from lower thigh to upper thigh. Not so bad on this side. This guy literally has the body of about 70% of the people attending Comic-Con this year. And maybe 20% of the people with this haircut. And I really like it. It's, it's, his head scope is authentic to him. And that's, you know, what would Doc Ock be without that? I mean, Mole Man and Doc Ock were pretty similar in faces back in the 70s, maybe even the 60s. But yeah, this head scope, iconic to him. Another cool thing is the glasses have a slight wiggle. They're not removable, but you can see his eyes. They're not removable like, say, Spider-Woman from the uh, Lizard Wave. Tizard, as uh, Bubs calls him. Also, there's other variations of him wearing a trench coat with, the, uh, with his extra appendages. Speaking of the appendages... Let's get into those. So they go plugged into here. Four of them. You can mix and match. Um, it's been about a year since this figure has been out. So everyone's been talking and they say that the best way to do it is the longer, ten the longer uh, tentacles fit better here and the shorter go here. Now I know you guys have seen other people's reviews get two identicals for the longer ones and two identicals for the shorter ones exactly the same everyone says that the toy biz one was better because they had bendy wire these are these are hard they're you know you can't mold them it they they're locked into that position so they would go like this so you put this these on the bottom what i'm gonna do okay so what makes me different from some of the toy collectors, I played football in high school. So, uh, in order to get your mouthpiece molded to your mouth, what you would have to do is boil some water in a pot and then put your mouthpiece in the boiling water and then pull it out and put it into cold water. And it would temper it to your mouth mold. So I'm going to try something similar to that. If you guys try it, make sure you take these off. Try it in this form, drop it in some boiling water, pull it out really quick, bend it to whatever position you need, and drop it in ice cold water. Hopefully that works and it tempers it to get it to hold a position that you want. We'll see. Doc Ock didn't come with a Build-A-Figure piece, but Spider-Man did. I forgot to add him. Uh, no different than the last one, no thigh rotation. He's going to go plugged in. On this side, pop in just like that. 360 swivel. Got the double double jointed knees. Slight up and down here. And then the 360 there. This is going to be fun to get them to stand. I got a feeling it's going to be fun. All right, stick around, guys. We're going to build SPDR. So here he is, SPDR, built and ready to go. Cool looking figure, looks like a mech suit. I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't know a whole lot about him until I saw the Spider-Verse movie. Now, he looks totally different in the Spider-Verse movie than he does here, but like I said, I didn't know anything about him. Uh, I was having a conversation with Mike today, and we were talking, it's like, technically... He's in the Spider-Verse, my Spider-Verse uh, collection. He's going in the Spider-Verse, right? Um, it's a variation of Spider-Man, so yeah, he can go in the Spider-Verse, I guess, right? Super cool detail, long, lanky legs. As I was putting them together, his lower half reminded me of Tom Brady's wife. I was just, I was just like, holy. I gotta keep this away from Tom. He's gonna be flooding my stream. Long, distinguished legs. Hmm. 
He's also a little hard to stand up. If he's not sitting perfectly vertical, he can tip over, he can flop. I mean, it's expected with a figure this tall and top heavy. For some reason, he also reminds me of Jerry Seinfeld doing stand up. Like, Come in the back seat, you know, because they got that glass partition. You're just watching them. It's like it's happening on television, you know? Like, what's the deal with build a figures? I mean, you have to buy six of them to get a seventh figure. Am I right? Yeah, kids, Google Seinfeld. Highest grossing show of 1997. Google it. All right, Wolfpackers, it's time for the big reveal. What? what? SPDR! It's not like the Spider-Verse version of SPDR with Penny Parker inside. He's so cool. Uh-huh, he's really tall as well. <laughs> yeah, and he's got so many different details. He's hecka tall. Here is his backside. Here's his front side again. All right, so what do you guys think? Was it worth the build or not so much? I think it was sort of worth it because it turned out a really good figure, but not for the people inside of the wave. Uh-huh, because, like, I would have liked it if Cloak and Dagger were in their own two-pack bundle. Yeah. Yeah, it goes, goes with the show. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I see that. Then they could have put, like, two different people for mm -hmm. their place. Okay, so uh, we already noted that Cloak and Dagger were not good figures for this wave uh which of the figures that we have did you like the least the one i liked the least was i'm gonna have to say electra electra what about the you the one that i don't like is doc ock yeah i switched mine doc ock yeah doc ock was there was something about him. Mm-hmm. All right, what was the figure you guys liked the most in this wave? The one I liked the most was Scarlet Spider because I was the one that found him during our toy hunt. The one that I liked the most is Electra because how her outfit looks, minus her bone cloth, that's just red. It could easily be a Baywatch swimsuit. Alright, so that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. Don't forget to drop us a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And share it with a friend, co-worker, relative. You know what's up. Deuces from the Wolf Pack. Drop the mic.